Hello, this is Hero again. What we're looking at is a dwarf pomegranate. Uh, we're at the tail end of July. We just went through a heat wave and I'm going to call this chapter the weird pomegranate. Why am I calling this weird? Well, it doesn't need pruning, but I want to show you the weird part. Okay, this, this part here, well, what happened was in the spring, it started coming out of dormancy, right? Uh, leaves coming out here, leaves coming out here, and then we had a late frost, and this part looked dead. In fact, uh, I was thinking of restyling this, cutting this whole thing off, and uh, restyling the the rest of it and I was thinking okay how should I set that up in terms of shooting the video well about a, what three four weeks ago I start to see life so this has been set back what five months four months five months and then it looks like it's coming back that's why you know I've never seen anything that do that but anyway, I thought I, I'd go ahead and kind of trim this up so that it has some sort of style. But you know, on the pomegranate, you notice where the leaf, uh, flowers are? They're on the tips. And the flowers have the potential to turn into a fruit, right? But they're on the tip. So you have to be careful. Uh, when you're in the styling process, you end up cutting all the uh, flowers off. So that's one of the dilemmas of working with uh, pomegranates and other flowering and fruiting things. Uh, what you cut off will quite often uh, get rid of the things that we value most. But anyway, I'm gonna proceed cautiously and then get some shape in this guy again. Yeah, this area is so weird. I don't know what's alive, what's not. So I'm going to be very careful. I don't want these to keep popping up, so I'm going to cut them so that it goes more sideways. But I'm just happy that it's not dead. And I don't want to stress it, so I'll keep this part so that it's just more on the recovery side. I've never seen anything that do that. The whole thing I could see, but just the one branch. So I'm having problem with this over here. All these things that I want to cut off, they have the flowers. And what's the main purpose of a pomegranate is to view the flowers and the fruit. So I uh, gotta quit talking and concentrate, make sure that I only cut off. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. See, I don't wanna cut this off, but there's nothing on here, right? So that's what I gotta do, and I do it cautiously. And a lot of times when I'm talking, I make mistakes, so I'll go ahead and turn off the camera and then try to get this area opened up a little bit. But like I was saying, you know, the beauty is the fruit and the flowers, right? Oh yeah, while we're on the subject of the fruit and the flowers, uh, as a review, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we have on the pomegranate. Well, on the pomegranate, there's both the male and the female uh, fruit uh, flower at the same time. And how you could tell is at the base, if there's a bump, that's female. And if there's none, then that's the male. Then you gotta get the uh, pollination, and then it turns into the fruit. So we need both the male and the female. And I'm gonna to try to get this thing pruned without cutting off the flowers.
Okay, <laughs> this is one of the tough calls. Uh, the flower is there. I think it's female because it has a bump there and it's probably going to turn into a fruit. But it should also be cut back here. So that's the dilemma you have with uh, pomegranates and other fruiting and flowering things. So I think I'm going to let it go. Well, this one here, there's a flower here, and there's nothing here. So it's relatively easy. We could just cut this off. And it does shorten a little bit. If there was no flower here, well, well, forget it. I thought there was a flower here, then we could have cut to that, but that's what we have to do here. So it's really hard to make plans. Well, if you're more concerned about a nice shape, then you could go ahead and just cut off the flowers. But if you want to enjoy the flowers and the fruit, then you have to be very cautious. You see this one here going this way like that? Easy call. No flower, no flower, flower here. So we could cut to there. Then we could tighten it up. So yeah, some of these are easy, others not so. See, there's a flower on the tip. This one going up, we don't need that. So there's some easy calls. Now if you were just into uh, developing a good bonsai, then you can go ahead and cut these off and then look for the future. But something like this where we want to be able to enjoy the flower and the fruit, we want to be very careful how we prune it. And like I was saying, look where the flowers are. They're at the tip of the new growth. So that's why you have to kind of vary your technique, trying to decide what is your main goal. And this one main goal was to see if we could figure out what's weird about this branch, which I still don't know. We're just going to wait. But then the rest of it is about enjoying the flower and the fruit. So, so this has been the weird dwarf pomegranate. And like I was saying, I think what happened was this side got hit by the late frost. But it really doesn't make that much sense because, I mean, this is one tree. And why did one branch get so damaged? Well, anyway, that's why I figure this is a very weird uh, situation. 